It's part of it. He had to overcome fear of success. That girl was too shocked to speak. I used to be very insecure when I didn't wear makeup. SLS, self-tape, acting groups. Everything you said you wouldn't. We are currently in Telford with our adult Panto, Aladdin, Princess Jasmine. Today we have two shows. Here's the dressing room. Hi, good morning. It's the stage. Got the theatre. Today's the first day that we're actually doing the kids show. We've only done the adult version up till now. We've got to be very careful not to swear in front of the kids. I think I'm gonna run through what makeup I use. I feel like that'd be interesting. And when I was watching, like when I was 16, like all the theater vlogs that didn't really exist, it was only Carrie Hope Fletcher, really. Going on in a sec. This is my actual outfit. And yeah, let's do it. Wait, I've got. And she's all ready to go. I've just finished for act one. It's such a different vibe when it's kids show. You know, we're used to like a lot of lines being quite innuendo, and obviously everyone's like eats that up. Like, <laughs> and tonight we've got the adult show, so gonna like engage the. Right, so far so good, no one slipped up. We had one rehearsal two days ago of the show, the kids show, and that was that, was that and now we're here. Oh my crap. This is my finale costume. I'm gonna go get married to Aladdin now. Ready for show two. Hello Mansfield. This is my dressing room today. She's cute or whatever. I think I've got my own one. They've even got these little lights like, oh. Today we have another two show day. We've got a 2 p.m. matinee, it's currently 12. That's a kids show and a 7.30, maybe 8. I don't want to later. I'm gonna hype myself up first because girl, I'm tired. I don't think I have any like good footage because I keep being really spaced out. I'm forgetting to film. Show one is basically done. Just get our. This is my second dress for act two. She's cute. Apparently, my boyfriend's friend's mum made this dress. So, thank you for this outfit. Done. Had a fun time. I got the cutest little jumpsuit from Primark today. So, as we go for dinner. I'm gonna use this Naughty It's a Curl Primer for cutting on wavy hair. She just got it from TK Maxx. It was six pounds. This has been so good for the fact that I've not been able to wash my hair in the past two days. The director said that he wanted my hair like natural for it, so I don't even need to curl it or anything, which is amazing, but it means that we need to keep our natural curls. So I've literally just been drowning my hair in this. I'm just giving it a little zhuzh zhuzh. My goal for my hair was when I put it in a ponytail that it looks like Ariana Grande a pony, but I think we're nearly there to be honest. Like. Ballet girl, ready to go. Okay, it's show two. What, did you hear my hip? <laughs> Let's do this thing. Welcome to Return to Skeleton Bay at Legoland Windsor Resort. 
this is your act two beginners, your act two beginners. Do you ask ChatGPT how to overcome fear of success? I don't know if it will know, but it doesn't know a lot. If you don't know what ChatGPT is, learn. It will how to overcome fear of success. Enter. The fear of success is a common feeling that many people experience. Success often brings about change, which can be uncomfortable and scary. Yeah. However, it's important to recognise that success can also bring about a positive change and new opportunities. Here are some ways to overcome fear of success. One, identify the source of your fear. That's what I'm trying to do. Understand where the fear is coming from and it will help you address it more effectively. Reflect on the past experiences or beliefs you may have that are contributing to your fear of success. So, all your past trauma where your whole family told you that you are rubbish and that you can't do anything probably will affect you and make you scared of succeeding. Just going off the top of my head. Two, reframe your thoughts. Instead of focusing on the potential negative outcomes of success, which I don't do because I try and think of, I think there's a big disconnect between my dream life and where I am, and I, I want to be in my dream life, and I feel like I am, but the fact that I'm not, there's the dissonance between me actually being there, my delusion, and me trying to be in my delusional girl era, is making me feel like an imposter. So, reframe those thoughts. Visualise yourself achieving your goals and imagine the benefits that come with success. Okay, I've been doing that recently and I feel like it's helped me visualise myself in my dream life, uh, but it's there's still that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be having Carson Crew. We have now had clearance. Thank you. Number three, set achievable goals. Oh, this is my thing. Small, actionable steps. Start small and gradually work your way up to bigger goals. This can help you build confidence and reduce the feelings of overwhelm. You don't need to do all this and that and this and this and this and that. Just do one. Just do one. Just do one. That's what I need to do. Do you know what? That's giving me a lot of relief. I think I put too much pressure on myself to do everything. I don't need to do everything. I just need to take a step now. Embrace the failure. Number four. Failure is a natural part of the learning process. Accept that mistakes will happen along the way and use them as opportunities for growth and learning. And five, seek support. Surround yourself with people who support you and encourage you. Having a strong support system can help you overcome your fears and achieve success. Okay, I, I feel like I do have somewhat of a good support system. Remember that overcoming fear of success takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. I struggle with the patience. And celebrate your accomplishments no matter how small they seem. And with that, I feel happy and, and okay. That's the reframing. Sometimes you need to remind yourself that it's okay and you're in the right place and you're doing the right things. You just keep it going. You don't have to do all of the big things today. Just take those small steps, but keep taking the small steps. I know it's scary, but sometimes you just have to come back to the thinking and the reframing of the situation. Because that just helped me out. So hopefully that'll help you. Anyway. I'm off. The funniest thing just happened. So today is Shahrazad, the magical enchantress's last show. Comic character says, "Does anyone ever told you you look like the sunshine from the Teletubbies?" No one knew about this. After he said that, music came on, singing happened, and then someone came dressed up like Tinky Winky and started twerking all over the stage. I was genuine like this. That girl was too shocked to speak. We've been to Greg's, we've got the cinnamon latte, which tastes like a Starbucks to me. I'm very happy. I got for after the show a chocolate eclair. Yes! Right, so you know we were talking about the fear of success yesterday. I was just watching a video where Google like got some YouTubers to come and do like some Google challenges. And their whole job is just to like make beauty videos, make fashion videos or like just talk about different topics in life. And I was really sat here like, I wanna do that. I could do that very easily. I could do that. That's kind of giving me a little bit of the motivation I need to get started. I think my fear of success comes in when I'm like, I get it done and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm an imposter. I've had a couple of brand deals in the past and I've been invited to a couple of brand events, which is amazing. But then I always feel very impostery because I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing, why am I here? 
But I suppose everyone feels like that, to be honest. I'm about to look like a Picasso drawing really quick. This is how I get ready for the show or whatever. I saw this tutorial that was like, you need to do your bronzer first, and it gives it that like glow that you really need. I like this blush for a little cutesy stage I'm a princess look. I suppose acting is pretty similar to having the imposter syndrome I'm having like with being a content creator. We're dousing our face in the Charlotte Tilbury do the elf halo glow liquid filter. As someone who does not wear makeup on the daily, it's so nice when I do because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so pretty. I used to be very insecure when I didn't wear makeup, like when I was going to school and stuff. I'd come downstairs and my mum would literally be like, you look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards, put on some makeup and look presentable. So it kind of like conditions you to think that you don't look cute unless you have makeup on. I like my face without makeup. But after I started getting seizures, obviously I was just at home all the time and I wasn't really wearing makeup. And at first I was like, oh, it looks so trash. But after a while I was like, I like my face. I like how I look. And it's just kind of boosted my whole confidence because now that I'm comfortable with how I look without makeup, then when I do put on makeup, it's like, oh, what a nice little change. And I don't feel like I look super different without makeup. I quite like this eyebrow, it's a NYX uh, micro brow pencil. It's very good. Because the house is gonna open in a minute. People are literally in the theatre right now like getting ready for the show. And I'm not ready for the show. Yeah. I saw this TikTok the other day of like cast members on tour with their uh, like Greg's outside the theater and people were queuing up for the theater and they were like in their sweats outside the theater. Like we're not even in the building right now and people are getting ready for the show. That's really funny to me. See, now that I've started vlogging on tour, I kind of wish that I had done this the whole time because we could have had some really cute like vlogging adventures on tour together but I'm sure I'll do another tour or another show. Vocal warm up. I'm definitely gonna do singing cabarets soon so maybe we can have some chats before cabaret sets. Ready? Good morning, it's 10 a.m. and I'm princessing it up. She's ready or whatever. Look at this. I always said that if, like when I was growing up, I didn't look like Pocahontas or Princess Jasmine. That's what I was saying to my boyfriend last night. And I was literally wearing my Jasmine outfit and he was like, she doesn't look like Princess Jasmine. She said, embodying the literal character of Jasmine as we speak. I think I look like Moana. If I was gonna be a Disney princess, I'd be Moana. But she's quite new. Like I was only seven years old or something like this, like 2016. Yeah, seven years. So, I think I'd be Moana. I just did my song and my little first entrance went well. Look at these. Last night, the gym kept making me so scared. It was literally, I was just here and then out of nowhere she went, ah! And I was like, oh, we have fun here. I've got my self-tape group going this morning. So today, as you remember last week, I read a self-tape for one of the girls in my SOS self-tape groups. Group? Not groups. SOS self-tape acting groups. Yes. So if you have a self-tape, come and put it in the chat and someone will read for you. That's the point of the group. Anyway, so I read for a girl named Darcy last week and she booked it. She booked it. So we put a little congrats to Darcy in the chat and everyone's going crazy. We're so happy for her. Well done. I'm, I'm quite happy because I've been in the show since the beginning of February. Well, rehearsals in January, whatever. I'm very comfortable with the lines. Because you know when you know the lines, but you don't, you're getting used to how other people say the lines because on paper it could be like, Goodbye, princess. I won't give up and you will love you. That's how you would read it in your head, something like this. And then in person, they could be like, Goodbye, princess. I won't give up on you. 
Uh, and it's like really long pauses, so you're like... So, we're all good now. Then it's just easy and it flows and you don't have to have that stress of being like, I don't know it, I don't know it, because you know it. You know it. So, all good. My producer messaged me, you know yesterday I was like, I'm scared of being successful. <laughs> It's such a funny problem. Problem. Um, but I managed to message my producer again this morning, my music producer, and she's done a longer version of the song so I can like finish writing to it um, this week. And uh, my website designer replied. We're gonna hop on a call tomorrow. He's gonna try and sort out my website because. I have a website for healing fragrances and I'm very excited like it's on its way, it's rolling, it's moving and grooving. I just need to keep it going, keep the progress going, but small steps, small steps. You're doing the right things. This is my cue to leave. I've just been kidnapped. Done the first one. Ah! One done, one to go. And I have some apple juice from Greg's and an eclair to eat still. Here we go. Show two of the day. 2 p.m. Let's get it. Ready for act two. For the kids show, I've just invented my wizard of Oz voice when I'm leaving and getting kidnapped and stuff and I'm like, oh no, a lemon does have an old lamp. It's over here. Twanky, help me. Which I find very Entertaining. Done! <laughs> this is how I bow. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you all. Thanks so much for watching my weekend vlog. And I hope you enjoyed coming along for this Aladdin adventure. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. I let you in, I bet you did. Everything you said you wouldn't.